This is a demonstration of the Hitchcock Zoom tool in Maya. So what the Hitchcock Zoom is, right here, we see that in these Hitchcock films that they would do a zoom and a dolly at the same time. Now we also have that in the Spielberg film Jaws, where we've got a dolly Dolly and a zoom at the same time. So we can do this in Maya as well. So what we do is we have to hit F so that we frame because in Maya there'll be a center of interest. So let's say I move this to another spot and then I hit F, then it'll have a new center of interest down here and then I activate the tool. And so what it does is it creates some, connects them some math and then if I zoom it'll be doing the same thing that we had in that other in the Hitchcock films so we see that as the camera trucks towards the camera it automatically makes the focal length longer or wider so the focal length and the zoom are all constructed connected together to maintain the center of interest in Maya as being uh, the same effective field of view. This is a demonstration of the Hitchcock zoom tool in Maya. So first of all, if you don't know what a Hitchcock zoom is, here's a fantastic video on YouTube that tells you everything you want to know about this great technique. So what you do to the Hitchcock zoom is first you need to find the distance from the camera to your object and so what we'll do is we'll create a measure tool and in the future we might have a more advanced way of doing this so we see that the distance between the camera and the object is 23 and a half so then for the camera we'll put in 23 and a half so that means that the Hitchcock zoom will then work properly. So then we click here on Hitchcock and some expressions, some multiply expressions get created. So now I'm going to hit the Alt button so that I can truck. And you notice that when I do this, that the object stays the same in frame. And that as I do this, the focal length is automatically changing in concert with the truck. So this is a Hitchcock zoom. So the main improvement for this tool that we're thinking about is instead of manually entering or keyframing the center of interest, uh, there might be a slicker thing where there'd be a locator in space that could animate and uh, the tool would automatically figure out what the center of interest is. This is a demonstration of doing a Hitchcock zoom in 3D Equalizer. So here's our shot. So what we're going to do is let's make some 2D points to work with. So to speed this up, I'm going to use this little tool here, but you can make these points by hand, and then I'm going to extend them so that they go to the end of the shot. So then I'm going to take these points and I'm going to reel them in. Actually, I do a reverse reel in here. So this gives 3D locations to the points. Now here, we want these points to be at the pivot point of the Hitchcock zoom. So we use a push points tool. And we'll push the points to the face wherever we want this to be. And then we want these points to be lineup points, not survey points. So we're going to switch the translate camera mode from make points consistent to make a rotation and focal length consistent. So now, let's fix 
analysis here. Now you can see when I'm holding the shift and the right mouse button drag that it's doing a Hitchcock zoom. So if we like what's going on here, we can use one of the tools to take keyframes, for example, the um, animation distortion tool. This is a demonstration of doing a Hitchcock zoom in 3D Equalizer using the Pacha Nudge 3D tool. So the idea, of course, of the Hitchcock zoom is that your selected object will stay the same size and frame as you zoom and automatically translate the scene. So first of all, let's just create some points that are symmetrical and centered. You don't have to use this tool, but it saves time. I'm going to do an endpoint so that they extend out through the entire shot. And then I'm going to go to a good spot here and I'm going to reel these in. I'm going to do a reverse reel in. So now they have 3D locations. And then we go here. We need to do a push points so that these points are at your hero object. That's the pivot point of, for the Hitchcock zoom. Okay, so now they're good. Now we want to make these lineup points so that the tools will work properly. So now we bring up the Nudge 3D and we're going to go right here, match calc. So as we can see, as we're zooming, a translation is occurring automatically. So in the previous video, we would be using the shift button to uh, change the translation. So the translation was the master, but in this case, the focal length is the master. So either method can be useful. Let's see whether this will work. Uh, for this other method to work, we'd have to click this button here. So here I'm doing a shift button and right mouse drag. And of course, then we can take keyframes using the animation distortion focal tool, or this way here, just nudge your focal length, go to another frame, nudge focal length.